Hi everyone, welcome to Healing Souls. So dear friends, it is again the time of new moon and I am inducing you with the high vibrational energies of new moon which is happening in the sign of Scorpio and as you hear my voice in the background the healing has already been started induced towards you this is a very very deep healing dear friends as Scorpio is the sign of death, rebirth, renewal rising from the ashes changes upon us dear friends and the guidance for this healing is to work through our fears new moon in scorpio a period to work through our fears dear friends i'm using a few very powerful crystals all of them all which will help you work through your fears during this period of change I'm using the Lapidolite Amethyst for your crown chakra, Selenite Sodalite for your third eye chakra Blue Kyanite Amazonite for your throat chakra, Rose Quartz for the heart chakra Tiger's Eye for the solar plexus, carnelian, unakite for the sacral, mokite jasper, smoky quartz for root chakra, grounding feet chakra, black kyanite, black tourmaline to cut your cords from the fear-based, anxiety-based energies, protect and shield you. The incense that I'm using today is for the third eye chakra to bring calm and peace into your energy. I have been given a card from the angels which I'm going to read to you right away. As the healing is in progress, dear friends, This card suggests a rebirth. Think of your situation as the phoenix that's rising from the ashes. As the birth, death, rebirth paradigm. That's what Scorpio energy is all about. Whatever you've been through, there's a new start ahead. It might be a little dark. It almost certainly won't be rainbows and unicorns, but it will be deep and transformative. This card also suggests that if you know you are magical, then this is time to work your magic. You can also herald the start of a sexier time. If you've been experiencing something of a drought, and emotional intimacy is on cards in menu for you. Scorpio is the sign that li likes to go deep into body, mind and spirit. And so when this time this card appears, there is nothing superficial about what's coming your way. Attune to the moon, dear friends. Have some sexy time. Additional meaning to this card. Time to let go of a grudge you're holding. Move on from jealousy. Stop being obsessive. Could it be, could it be that you're being paranoid? Make an investment. Make an investment, dear friends. The teaching that is coming through this card, dear friends, Scorpio is the sign of death and rebirth, 
magic and shamans. Its energy is a little bit dark, occult, even scary. Not all of us like the like to face the shadow, but Scorpio demands it. In fact, it's through working through your dark side that you can get to the light. And the new moon in Scorpio and the appearance of this card suggests you need to go through that now. So dear friends, it's time for deep shadow work. And that is what is happening with this healing. And the healing is in progress, dear friends. Not just for the new moon energy, dear friends. This healing is going to be helpful if you have a lot of fear-based, anxiety-based energy inside your body, mind and soul. You can always come back to this healing for deeper emotional shadow work. All of us are going to begin a new cycle of our life, dear friends. And in giving closure to old cycles and moving into new cycles, there is a period of navigation which makes us feel anxious, fearful and vulnerable at times. This healing will help you through this period, dear friends. Release, release, release all your fears, release your anxiety. Believe and trust in your magic, believe and trust in the magic of the universe, dear friends. Keep taking this healing, dear friends, until the next full moon, that is a period of 15 days, to help you release. All that is dark to help call the energy of light to fill in. What you need to sense all of the emotions in order to release them. So this could be a period of very deep emotional healing wherein you could sense a few very, very dark, deep emotions inside your body, mind and soul that will surface. They can make you feel very, very emotional also, vulnerable also. But the good part of it is that if you will sense it, you will release it. You can also have some 
very very deep intuitions or you can see things in your dream you can also release the dark energies in your dream i wish and pray my friends go through this process with love and light love and light love and light i can already sense dear friends that this is deep now grounding you dear friends and this energy protecting and shielding you happy new moon happy new start my dear friends of love and light wishing you all the best always Thank you very much my dear friends of love and light